but the previous government you know because maybe because they didn't see it you know, see the need for these things to flow you know the normal way they didn't take it seriously but the first thing this government did when they came in place in uh, 2015 was to approve most of those things that we've done like the policy the rural education strategy and implementation plan we've worked on it since 2013 so just lying down there but immediately this government came in you know we you know, sort of advocated for this to be passed and immediately they reviewed it and saw that it was something good for the sector and they approved it we also have the rural electrification um, rural uh, renewable energy and energy efficiency policy that was also passed last year during the National Council on Power in Kaduna. The minister approved it because he felt the need. Everybody has been advocating for having more renewable, especially at the centralized level and all of that. He felt you know, the need to complement and have a more robust uh, and diverse energy mix. And he approved it. You know, the, the president also approved it. We have the political will. We have all the support. The minister and the president, the vice president, They've been very wonderful, they support us a lot. We have a managing director that is also very young and hard working and she's been doing wonderfully well. And then we have a board that sees it, you know, sees the new direction of RUA as something that we need to really take seriously and they give us all the support. The managing director of the Rural Electrification Agency, Damilola Ogumbi, testifies to Sanusi's youthful ingenuity. He's young, he's energetic, bringing new ideas and innovation of how to push things. Not being complacent with the norm is very important because we have such a short period of time. You want people to be at your level at all times. You want people to research things for you, you want people to bring ideas to the table. It's sometimes tough as a managing director, everyone expects you to have the answers to everything. But then having younger people who can come in and tell you about new technologies, new ways it's work, how rural and underserved communities could be the future, which is what we're talking about in terms of our energy mix. We really feel off-grid energy. You know, it's, it's a fundamental part of how we power our people, be it be rural, be, be it be urban cities. So having someone like Dr. Smoothie, who has the development aid background and has the educational background, is obviously an added bonus. After long days and endless travel, Sanusi finds solace in the presence of those who love him most. Today he will be meeting in a lodge with uh, the president, President Donald Trump. For me, family is everything, you know. My first job is to be, you know, a family man, a husband to my loving wife and then a father to my two gorgeous daughters. So it's very important and I'm lucky and blessed I have a very wonderful and understanding family. The job demands a lot. Most times I'm up and down, you know, going to one, from one rural community to the other. Other times I stay very late at the office, you know, before coming home. But I think it's a sacrifice that they, they are willing to make, you know, for me to be able to do my job better. And I'm grateful for that. Sanusi's leadership journey was shaped by an influential man in his life. My dad's name is uh, Senator Mohamed Salami Ohiare. Uh, he's, uh, he was a one-time senator. Growing up was, was fun, but I mean, my dad was also a disciplinarian. Uh, he, he was a very practical person. He just basically laid everything bare to us and said, well, this is life and this is how you succeed, and this is what you need to do to succeed. So it's left for you. If, I mean, he gave us practical examples of people, you know, living, living and, and dead, you know, how they behaved and how they ended up. So he, he and then he made us read a lot. I mean, we used to have like a, a whole library, had all these encyclopedias, had lots of biographies of great men. So he made us read, and specifically for me, he made me to always read the newspaper to him every day, so I like following him to work, especially on holidays, so if I'm driving with him, 
She would say, okay, so read the news and what's the news saying today? So it made me aware right from when I was very little about things that were going on. I was always watching the news with him, reading the news. He's sort of like a role model to me because he was a very hardworking person, uh, especially in his youth. And uh, God blessed him as well. And uh, he, was, he was okay. I mean, he was financially okay. But then we never knew he, he was, you know, he had money because he made sure we lived an average life. I mean, he had houses here in Abuja, but we're living in Suleja because he wanted us to understand that he needed to work hard. And he would always tell us that, well, I'm, I worked for my, for my wealth and whatever I have today. And what, what I can do for you, my, my kids, is just to send you to, the, to school, the best schools, get education, and then be on your own. Selected to participate in the YALI program, Sanusi would learn to open himself up to new possibilities. The network, you can't take that away from YALI. The people you meet, you have 999 other people all over Africa, doing wonderfully well in different spheres, spheres of life. You know, you have those doing very well in, in business and entrepreneurship. You have those doing very well in public management. And then you have others doing extremely well with, you know, their NGO, non-governmental uh, activities. So for me, I was at UC Davis, University of California, Davis. And that was the only uh, university that hosted the energy track. So I, I was there with 24 other wonderful people from all over Africa. And these are people that are trying to solve similar problems as we are here in Nigeria. So sitting down with them, sharing ideas with them, learning from them, and then seeing how we can work together even after Yali. In a nation where youths are associated with creative arts industries and private enterprise, this brilliant young family man breaks stereotypes and proves what is possible when young people of talent and character are entrusted with official authority. With an unrelenting work ethic and a clear vision for his own life, Sanusi demonstrates that when youths take up their mantle and refuse to underestimate themselves, they can break new ground and set new standards of excellence wherever they are. My name is Ajuri Ngilale. Until next time, lead where you are and followers will find you. <laughs>